In early February, an exhibition showcasing gift-type products was held in Tokyo. At one booth, visitors were stopping to admire a certain product. It looks beautiful. It's wonderful. On display was a metallic sake cup made of a special metal called cobalt chromium alloy. It's one of a kind. Holding it at an angle, the light reflects off the surface, much like a mirror. And they say it's as brilliant as platinum or silver. The price is about 170,000 yen. Put on the market in June last year, it caused a buzz, and half of the 50 limited production cups were snapped up. A cup made of this kind of metal is sure to become a topic of conversation among customers. The cup is made by a company in Kamaishi Iwate Prefecture, where the scars of the earthquake and tsunami five years ago are still visible. MTEC is engaged in metal processing. This is the president, Masaru Kubo. He pushed the company to take on the challenge of making not components on contract, but a product for general use. I was happy that we somehow managed to create our own product. The cobalt chromium alloy used for the cup is said to have a low probability of causing metal allergies and used as a material for artificial joints and medical scissors. It's also nearly four times as hard as stainless steel, and molding it had been considered difficult. But applying technologies accumulated during more than 30 years, they succeeded in creating a cup. However, they were complete novices in the field of design. So they decided to rely on outside knowledge. Without Ace, we wouldn't have been able to make our own product. We're very grateful. The company that played a key role in commercializing a cup made by a small outfit in Kamaishi is based in Tokyo. ACE is an entrepreneurial venture. They say they solicited designs for the cup using a certain unique scheme. Based on our theme for which a manufacturer is inviting ideas, our 10,000 community members, made up of creators, submit product concepts. Three years ago, Ace set up a website called WeMake. The company began inviting ideas from the 10,000 registered creators with the promise of monetary rewards. We wanted to work with manufacturers who have the ability to make good products, but are struggling to turn them into businesses and do product development together. When he was a student, Mr. Yamada participated in the Birdman contest. As part of that, he got to know many people working at small manufacturers and wanted to find some way to help them. Among the website registrants are former designers of car makers and ex-employees of IT firms. Hello. On this day, one of the registered designers comes for a visit. I still think we need to nail down the measurements. He's a designer whose idea was selected for a certain project and has come to discuss how to commercialize the product. He actually works at a manufacturer of industrial products. For example, if the total remuneration is 1 million yen, Half that amount, 500,000 yen, is paid out to the person who submitted the winning design. The remainder is distributed to others helping to commercialize the product based on their contributions. The person who comes up with the final product name gets 30,000 yen. And those who suggest improvements to a product are paid 7,000 yen. The main characteristic is that people can choose how to contribute based on their own skills and expertise. The hurdle for participation is extremely low. Mr. Yamada visits a company that requested help in product development. It's a group firm of OG Paper. 
The purpose is to finalize the details with the manager overseeing product development. We can keep this as it is, or customers can punch them out. Either way, it's better to leave it. But it's also not a problem to punch them out and send it. The new product is made from reinforced corrugated cardboard called Hypolace. It's lightweight and tough and commands a big market share in the transport of precision equipment. But not knowing how to turn it into a consumer product, the company called on Ace. Its use as a packing material was becoming difficult as a market. So we wanted to find another way to use it. The new product is designed to show off the corrugation. It's actually a method considered taboo in the industry. There's a standard way of doing things in this industry, so we might not see certain aspects. It was a fresh and surprising idea. And several weeks later at a hotel in Tokyo, the new product was unveiled at a small exhibition. What they came up with was a simple display shelf. For cardboard, the price is a bit high at around 7,000 yen, but customers appear interested. Mr. Yamada of Ace believes there's demand for a new style of manufacturing now. I've been told that manufacturers have lots of intellectual property that they haven't been able to monetize. I think we're coming into an age in which it's becoming more realistic to work with regular people on ideas to monetize products. <laughs>